Hello everyone, this is CloudSor. On today's video, I'm going to teach you in this model of Predator Helios 2019 how to install an additional stick of RAM. Uh, this model originally comes with 8 gigabytes, but you're going to notice when you're using it that some applications start losing performance, some games lose FPS, among other things. But to be honest, 8 gigabytes is not enough for 2020. At least you need 16 gigabytes to take all the juice out of this laptop. Okay, so the things that you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver and one of these plastic thingies that are used to open like electronics. You can get them on Amazon for like one buck. And you can use any screwdriver as long as it's small enough for the small screws in the laptop. And here I have my eight gigabyte of additional RAM that I'm gonna put a link in the description so if you wanna get one of these. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is like turn the laptop to the bottom and carefully we're gonna unscrew the screws. But I'm gonna leave them there in the laptop so I don't have to later on to pick them up and try to remember where, where I had to put them. So I'm just gonna unscrew them really quick and leave them there. Just make sure that you uns unscrew them all the way. So no small like piece of the screw still stays stuck inside of the case. So make sure to unscrew them well, but I would recommend you to leave them there. So then it's easier to put everything back together. I accidentally lost a screw yesterday trying to do this uh, just to open it and see what was inside. So sorry if I didn't screw this one because it's missing. Later I'm gonna get another screw. Okay, so now once everything is unscrewed, you're gonna get your pry tool thingy and you're gonna start like going into the sides of the laptop. Well, I think that it's way easier to start with the back here. So you put your pry tool and you're gonna see how gently everything's gonna start like snapping out. Oh, a screw jump. You gotta be careful when those little screws jump. That's how I lost the other one. So I'm just gonna put it back there for it to hold. Okay, now this is open. And here we go. It's super easy like that. Okay, so here we have all the inside components. Since this laptop came with an additional hard drive this way, you can upgrade this, put in a SATA hard drive this here, because they include you also a cable and a bracket, so you can put here another hard drive. And the cool thing about this model is that you also have a secondary um, SSD NVMe M2 drive, so, if you want to put a super fast SSD and NMVME, you can put it here in this second slot. But that's not what matters today. Today we're going to put the second stick of RAM. So as you can see here, you, we have our stick number one. And here we have another bay for a secondary stick. So I'm just going to take my RAM out. I'm being super careful. going to put it there and you just snap it in place and that's it. And now I'm gonna put everything back together. Like I said before, hopefully you keep all the screws with you. So this is gonna be way easier. And I'm gonna gently put the lid back. And now I'm just gonna start to screw the, the thingies back real quick I must say that opening this Predator Helios is way easier than the year 2017 model because the first time that I opened the 2017 model they actually break like a small bracket that was holding the case but this one everything is really straightforward really easy anyone can do it 
you just need to have like your prime plastic tool to open the sides and a screwdriver and that's it also you have to be a little bit careful when you pick the memory in the RAM memories for this model I'm gonna leave a link in the description with all the specifications that it need, needs to have but yeah if you have the 8 gigabyte model in this laptop or any laptop I really would suggest you to upgrade to 16 so in that case you can make use of the dual channel memory because if not your RAM is working in single channel and then the computer is not making full use of all the capacity of the RAM well more than capacity actually the performance so let me make sure that everything is not in place Okay, all the screws are in, also make sure to gently press the sides to make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be, you can see the sides, nothing is open, oh wait here was a small one, yeah, when you hear the clicks is that everything is fine, okay, and everything is ready, and now we turn it on to see that everything is working, Okay, so we are now inside of the computer. So if we go and check its properties, we can see that now we have the 16 gigabyte of RAMs. And if we make a second, we go here where it says memory and we can see that we're in dual channel. I already made like a really quick test in the applications that they were lagging like a little bit and the FPS were not as high. And believe me, the difference at least in this model to use in this case 16 gigabytes of ram and have it in world channel is night and day you are gonna if you have the 8 gigabyte model i would suggest you really suggest you to get the extra 8 gigabytes so it can become dual channel well and that's it for today guys if you have any question leave it in the comment remember that we have a discord server if you want to talk in real time and see you next time